Michigan Athletics. Taylor Electric Supply Incorporated. Harold Taylor. Montador Vineyards. Oregon's premier wine estate. Mashofsky Enterprises. Art and Ed Mashofsky. Immer and Oswald Volvo and Cardale Mountain Realty, your Central Oregon real estate specialist. Washington won the toss of the coin and elected to take the football to start the game, and so the Ducks will kick off and will defend to start things off. Uh, ideal day for playing in Seattle. Actually, uh, Sun came out and was out most of the football game, and not much of a win throughout the game either. Take a look at the Ducks defensively, the down lineman, the linebackers, uh, Connor back in there, and then the defensive secondary, and Eric Castle had a brilliant ball game, 18 tackles, very, very active throughout the course of the day. On offense for the Ducks, look at the front line there. Skilled position players led by Bill Musgrave. Kalamini again uh, going at the fullback spot. Jeff Thomason uh, played only a half, re-injured that hip pointer injury he'd had uh, for the last week or so. So Liam Hayes kicking off once... Uh, actually wore the purple and gold jerseys uh, in Seattle, but now playing for the Ducks. And on the first uh, kind of defensive uh, stand, both teams kind of juggling back and forth and really not a whole lot of advantage. They go up top first, but this is really their only gain early in the ball game. Nice catch over uh, Daryl Smith. Paul Rodriguez made a nice play on the opening kickoff there, making the tackle. They came out throwing right off. Uh, now they try to run a draw play. <clears throat> and Rory Derry is there along with Eric Castle. Causes the fumble, but the fumble bounces out of bounds. So on a second down of three play from the Oregon 47. This is Lewis. Nice job by Andy Connor. It's nice to have Connor back. Also, Matt Labounty uh, kind of pushed the Washington offensive line back at the point of attack. You can see that. Uh, Andy Connor makes the play here. Andy played uh, a very good football game on an injured ankle. Ended up playing uh, as a down lineman much of the second half. We're getting a little uh, beat up, have some injuries, and uh, we may have to do some adjustments this week. Nice cut there by Kalamini, uh, pick up about three yards. So the first series offensively for the Ducks in the ball game, you keep it on the ground and you're able to get a first down out of it. Uh, we end up uh, running the football just a little bit early. Now we try to get the first down, a nice cut by Kalamini, and he just barely makes it. Uh, you can see, uh, there he needed to get to the stripe, and he just, just barely got there. So on a first down play, Musgrave to throw, and he is sacked by the blitzing uh, rover back, Eric Briscoe. He came inside. Uh, the defensive end rushed upfield, and Briscoe came underneath and made the sack. So on third and 14. A little screen pass to McClellan, and McClellan gets welcome to Husky Stadium. They don't miss many tackles, do they? No, they, they hit pretty good. So Washington gets the football back. This is a second down and 10 play here. Little hitch to Mario Bailey and gets 17. Roy Derry's supposed to uh, be out in the flat there and he kind of hung up on the inside receiver too long and allowed him to pick up the first down. Here's a busted play. We jump off sides. We kind of, Roy Derry runs into the umpire. Everybody's kind of standing around and Lewis runs the ball 53 yards for a touchdown. Yeah, that's a tough break early in the ball game uh, and they get an easy score as Lewis goes the distance, you see the penalty is declined. So with a point after my Mike Dodd, the Huskies take the early lead, seven to nothing. But you come right back, coach, and uh, are able to move the football and look like uh, the offense might get something going. Nice run there by Burwell, taking it up the pipe. Uh, nice block by Kelamini, and we do a good job. Uh, Kelamini gets a block right there. And you can see Burwell gets a crease. Good block by Todd Kanapu. And Burwell spins out of one tackle and picks up a couple extra yards. Get a little bit of a break on the next play here, a first and 10 from the 35. It's Kalameni. A quick opener here. Ball comes loose, but fortunately, Todd kind of opened, and there's 79 there on the fumble recovery. Put the helmet right on the ball, and we fumble it, but Kanafu is there to make the recovery. You can see what's going on underneath that pile. I get really upset when the officials don't pull people off because there's a lot of things that go on. <laughs> on under there that make it tough. There's a rare uh, pass that goes through Reitzig's hands and it's intercepted. It was a well-thrown ball and Joe normally makes that catch, went right through his hands and into the Washington defensive back's hands. You can see Joe is disappointed, but the defense comes in and uh, stops the Huskies. They're unable to really move the ball with much effectiveness there. And after the loss, the Ducks will get the football back. Good job by Brantley stuffing the lineman back into the fullback to knock him down on that last play. 
Burwell picks up about two and a half to three. Ball now at the 23, second down play. Musgrave will find Michael McClellan on a little hook pattern over the middle. Good for 10 and a first down. Under pressure, most of the time that we were throwing, they had somebody in his face most of the day. Roll, roll out. Roll out here and good job finding Joe Reitzig on the sideline for the first down. So after a loss of two, second down and 12. Find Kelamini out in the flat, and he gets out of bounds after picking up about six or seven yards. After a timeout by the Ducks, a third and four play here. I think Bill would probably like to have this throw back just a little bit behind Sean Burwell. We're behind him uh, trying to run an option route there, and uh, Bill misread which way Sean was going to break. So the Huskies get it back, but again, defense does a nice job. Try a design cutback play there, but Brantley is there along with Marcus Woods to make the play. You can see they start this way, but they're really trying to come back out the other way, and Brantley did a great job of staying home and makes the tackle for a loss. So that was the end of the first quarter with the Huskies leading the Ducks 7 to nothing. Into the second quarter we go. It's uh, been a defensive struggle so far, although the Huskies do have the one score on the long run by Greg Lewis. As we pick up action, the Ducks have the football and mounting a drive. Second and seven at their own 44. McClellan on the post pattern gets 21. We'll look at it again. You see he starts an out move, then bends it back in here and uh, finds wide open. And as he's trying to make a move on the safety, the corner comes off and makes a tackle. So it's first and 10 at the Husky, 35. Jeff Thomason's lone catch of the day, good for eight yards. You'll see he's running kind of tenderly there on that hip. Third down and 11. Big play here as Musgrave hits McClellan. Good for 24 yards and takes the ball down to the Husky, two. Really a nice throw here. Good pass blocking there by Bud Bowie and Musgrave perfect pass. McClellan makes a real nice catch and now it seems like it takes a month and a half to get it into the end zone. This is a third down play here. Musgrave are rolling out after a couple of tries in the middle and uh, throws this one away, but the Huskies called for defensive holding in the end zone to an automatic first down. Next play we see will be second down and goal from the Washington one. They grabbed big Dan Mitchell and tried to keep him out of there and we run the option play here and Boy, I'll tell you what, if that, if that isn't a touchdown, I don't know. That ball is right on the goal line when he falls down on it, and uh, they don't give it to us. So on third down, Musgrave will follow uh, senior center Scott Boatwright and just squeezes it in there for the score. Yeah, I think he was clearly in. It even took him a little, a little while. You can see the surge there, and uh, Tattersall and Boatwright push him off, and Musgrave's clear into the waist before he gets knocked back. So the ball game is all tied up. And with the extra point by McCallum, it is seven to seven, midway through the second quarter. Huskies get the football back. Here's Brunel. Got the screen pass covered and thought that was a clip that they missed right there on Farwell, but Brunel with his great athletic ability runs to where the screen was gonna be and picks up good yardage. And we lose Marcus Woods with a sprained ankle there. He got, as he was peeling back, they blocked him low and he uh, twisted his ankle. Third down and seven. Good job of containment here, though. It is a good job, and the bounty comes off, gets help from Andy Connor uh, after Burnell picks up two yards, stepping up into the pocket. As you can see, we keep him in the pocket here. Brantley's getting knocked by. LeBounty comes off, kind of just hangs on. Looks, Burnell's pretty strong. He drags LeBounty about four yards there. 6'2", 210 pounds, they list him as. So the Ducks get the football back. But a big play right here. Musgrave looking for Thomason, who falls down, and the ball is intercepted by Briscoe. It's one of those inadvertent things that Thomason's running across, and he got his foot tangled with the Washington defender. It wasn't interference or anything, but Bill's assuming that he's going to be there, and he falls down, and instead Washington gets a sack. And there we throw him for a loss on a sweep. Good job by Roy Derry forcing the play back inside. Yeah, he really made the play. He stood the <laughs> yeah. pullback up and then came in and made the tackle. And we get a host of uh, LeBounty and Brantley and good job by Castle uh, up in there to make the play. And now we do a bad job on this. Muhammad 
has the pass caught in front, misses the tackle. Now we get a 15-yard penalty thrown on for that throwing him out of bounds, which is totally unnecessary, and it's clearly a good call. So it's half the distance to the goal line. Here's that speed again by the quarterback. I mean, for all intents and purposes, he should be, he should have been dead behind the line of scrimmage, but just that 4-6 okay. speed. Yeah, it ran Brantley, Batista, and Farwell for the corner. So the touchdown by the Huskies with the extra point. They have the lead 14-7. There's uh, less than four minutes to go on the ensuing kickoff. Michael McClellan came off. Uh, what happened to, to him? Well, he felt his knee kind of went out from under. He might have a little cartilage problem in there, although uh, most of the tests are negative uh, so far anyway. It's pretty sore still, though. Good job by Burwell catching that little pass by Musgrave on the half roll. Now Musgrave goes on the roll again and throws incomplete. I felt clearly that the Washington defender wasn't playing the ball, but just pushed Joe Reitzig cl cleanly out of bounds, and obviously the official doesn't agree with me. It's kind of hard to imagine Reitzig going out of bounds on his own volition there to not catch the pass. Well, that one was fairly obvious. He rode him for three yards out in the inside and pushed him clean, clear out of bounds. Bill had a lot of time to throw there and came off, uh, couldn't, <laughs> couldn't figure out what to do with it, and threw short trying to hit Brian Brown. Here Tommy Thompson hits a good punt, and we get poor coverage on the right side here. They get outside, and Tommy Thompson gets his first tackle <laughs> in the Not Pac-10. Bad. I'll tell you, he saved the Not touchdown. Uh, we had uh, Huskies did a good job collapsing our uh, right side of our punt team and set up a good wall, and they got to it. Your defense did a great job on this series right here, though. I mean, uh, keeping the Huskies from scoring any points right here. They did, and uh, nice play here now. We've got Gary Williams, a true freshman in there, does a great job stuffing the play on the double team at the point of attack, allowing Batista to come in and hit Williams for no, or <coughs> excuse me, hit Lewis for no gain. So it's second and 10 from the 33. Brunel back to throw again. Overthrows on the play, Castle covering. Third down. Nice job by Daryl Smith getting his hand in there and just flicking the ball out of the receiver's hands. I was a little surprised that uh, Coach James went for the field goal here. Dodd not known to have the strongest leg. In and what it did was give you pretty good field position with, as we see, 128 to play in the half and a well, couple of timeouts. It did, but uh, we also hadn't done a lot against their defense, and I'm sure he has a lot of confidence in his defense. Eric Burwell just uses his speed to get outside, pick up some positive yards, about four or five, and stop the clock. Second and five. Anthony Jones made a couple of big catches in the game. This one he uh, went upstairs to get. Real nice catch. Ball thrown a little behind him and high, and he went up and made the nice catch. First and 10 at the Husky, 48. Bill gets splattered, and Reitzig makes a great catch. Well, it's pretty hard. I mean, you take a three-step drop and get hit when you throw the ball. We're not doing a great job protecting. Another first down. Looked like Jeff might have gotten re-injured right there on that hit. Well, he did. He uh, took a shot to the head as well. Uh, and uh, also came down on his hip, and he's, uh, he's pretty sore at this point. Third down and 10. Little screen pass to Anthony Jones. Picks up about seven yards, and at least gets us in a reasonable field goal range for a 47-yarder. So McCallum comes in. Get going, yes. From 46 yards. I mean, considering all things, Coach, it's 14-10, and uh, you feel, have to feel fairly good about it. feel like things. we're in pretty good shape. And then we get a break here. We're going to kick a squib kick. It hits the Washington guy, and Dozier does a great job uh, getting it, along with Johnny Taylor recovering the, the ball there. This is uh, intentionally on the ground. Uh, we, if a guy's standing right in front of us, I tell the kicker to aim at him, and if he can hit him, then the ball may come our way, and uh, which it did. But uh, that's a very fortunate break for us. We were unable to capitalize on it. Take us through this series, though, because there, there was some confusion involved on the, on the second and third down plays. On first down, uh, Ronnie Harris, nice reception there, gets out of bounds for a first down. We pick up the first down. We uh, don't have a lot of time left. Throw to Burwell here. Now we want to stop the clock, which we use a timeout. We come over and we tell Bill we're going to try to go to the sideline. They go into bump, bump coverage, which converts the pattern to an up route. Bill uh, doesn't have time to unload it, and he unfortunately takes a sack, and uh, that's something we didn't need. Now we get the uh, kill the clock play, uh, and they reset because they had messed up on the time before, and we try a 59-yard field goal, 
You know, what the heck, take a, take a, take a sure. flyer at it. Why not? We're ready for the third quarter of play. Washington leading the Ducks 14 to 10, but the Ducks will get the football to start the third period. And I guess the frustrating part of this third quarter, Coach, was the fact that in the early first three possessions, you had the great field position and just unable to take advantage of it. Well, we did. And here Sean Burwell gets a nice return. Good blocking in the wedge up there. Makes a good move, and we get great field position. We felt at halftime, if we come out and move the ball, we've got a great chance to win the football game. Uh, you can see uh, the wedge does an excellent job here. Uh, good block by Dan Mitchell in there. Jeff Allen got a decent block, and Burwell comes up and get the ball clear out past midfield and <clears throat> think we're in pretty good shape at this point. And in fact, the ball is at the Husky 44-yard line. First down play, Musgrave, a little hitch pattern to Anthony Jones, gets about seven. Well, now we have second and three, and uh, we end up getting stuffed, uh, actually losing a yard. Uh, this is the third down play. And then we have to come back on the throw, and Bill gets sacked in from behind for the loss, and we have to punt the ball away. So a great opportunity missed right out of the barrel. But the Tommy Thompson does a nice job, pins the Huskies back at their 13. This is a third down play, and the Huskies come up inches shy of the first down. We get the ball back again in great field position the first play. Burwell fumbles the pitch back and we lose seven yards. Uh, so now we're second and 17 and we struggle again. Throw a little screen pass. Michael McClellan drops the ball. It would have been tackled anyway, as you can see. So you got to punt it away again. The Huskies get it back. This is a very good defensive stand right here. Brunel. Nowhere to go at all, and he's dumped behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by Andy Connor and uh, James Batista. We do contain him on this. Uh, I can't emphasize that enough, as we did in the BYU game. Uh, we had several breakdowns in this contest where we didn't, and the, each one of them cost us dearly. So Brunel with uh, no gain. Batista and Connor in there on the stop. This time Brunel will roll, looking for somebody in the flat nobody there nobody there and finally ridden out of bounds by Gary Williams <coughs> Gary Williams in in good pursuit there Gary played I might add I think a very fine game for a true freshman uh, ha having to replace Marcus Woods and good job there uh, by Jeff Cummings and Andy Connor getting the sack again contained rush on him uh, you'll see Cummings come from the top of your screen with a spin move he comes inside and he gets there about the same time Andy Connor does and we get the sack Nine minutes to play. The Ducks get the football back at their own 42. Anthony Jones gets six. Then on third down and five, Musgrave again will go to a Jones as he gets the reception and the first down. Anthony uh, caught seven passes in this game. Uh, did an excellent, most of them were short passes, but he did, really did a fine job, and I'm sure you're going to see him play a lot more as we go through the year now little extracurricular there. Uh, they call it on us. I don't know why they don't call it on Washington. That was unnecessary. Should have been called. Third down and three, and this is the play of the game. As Bill went to throw, tried to pull it back in, it comes loose, and the Huskies recover. You can see Ferry's back there with a cast on his hand trying to get the ball and uh, obviously didn't, and Washington recovers. Uh, instead of us even just punting the ball away, we're still in good shape, and now uh, Washington comes back. We do a good job on Lewis on this play. Castle's up there along with Farwell and Derry. Now, Burnell goes back. We missed the tackle. Play a little too cautiously there, Muhammad. Uh, missed the tackle again, and Farwell's there to make the tackle on the 11 and a half yard line. So on the very next play, Burnell fakes the toss. We lose contain over here. Brantley, we're off playing man to man coverage in the back. And Muhammad comes, but he comes too late off of his man, and they score. So they take advantage of the turnover, and as a result, um, that series was just monumental in this football game because uh, of, of the way the Ducks had played to start the third quarter and, and the field position advantage they had had. This is a third down and very, very long, and Musgrave finds McClellan for the first down. Gain of 24. See, we get good protection on this play. It makes little difference when you've got time to step up and deliver the football. We didn't have a lot of that against Washington's fine defense. But the drive stalls there on a third and five play. Musgrave trying to hit to Ronnie Harris. A little underthrown, nearly intercepted, uh, incomplete, and we have to give the ball up. So the Huskies get it back with about four minutes to play third quarter. 
And Lewis breaks one 33 yards before Oliver rides him out of bounds. Cutback play there, uh, one that we've been stopping earlier. Now we're starting to get worn down a little bit in the Washington size and the offensive line is starting to take its toll. Great job by Matt Labounty coming around the corner, getting the sack on Burnell. You can see from the right-hand portion of your screen, he'll come around the Washington offensive tackle and catch Brunel before he can get into full gear. So on a third down and nine play, Brunel to throw again and looking for what was his favorite receiver on the day, Mario Bailey, a little pattern over the middle, good for 14 and the first. Several plays here, third down, really killed us, and that was one of them, keeps the drive alive. Instead of them punting the ball away, uh, they keep possession and eventually end up with points. We get the blitz here, they throw the balls across the line of scrimmage. Uh, there's a lineman downfield, not only is he downfield, he's holding. Uh, so we get a five-yard penalty, and they replay the down. Can you, uh, did they call holding or not at all? They called holding, but it was overruled by Ill 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 ineligible receiver downfield. And now again, we lose contain, and Brunel runs out of bounds uh, for the first down on a big third down play. Into the fourth quarter we go. The Huskies leading 21 to 10 and uh, mounting a drive, trying for additional points, and the Ducks trying to keep them out of the end zone. This is a third and four play here. Andy Connor, nice containment, although Brunel does get away, but the pass is incomplete. Stayed home on that one and at least forced him to throw incomplete. <clears throat> now they convert the field goal to take a 14-point lead. So with uh, the fourth quarter just underway, the Ducks trying to get some good field position. And again, on a kickoff, you do just that. Nice job by Burwell. A good job by the wedge. Mitchell, Allen, Spear. Uh, ball comes out, and Castle recovers it. Could have scooped it up and run with it, but I'm glad that we recovered it. Good job by the wedge here. You can see good blocking. Jeff Allen makes a real nice block, which creates a big hole for Burwell, and he takes it up. You can see the ball. He's reaching it back almost to, to make a move. Uh, it's one of the things Sean has got to learn to keep that ball in closer to his body, and that's exactly what happens. A guy comes up from behind and knocks it out. One of the key stats in the entire game was uh, rushing on first down. 19 attempts, only 24 yards, and uh, minus three there. We get stuffed, and most of it was uh, in the second half, mm -hmm. unfortunately. We just could not establish anything on the ground. Uh, intercepted, but out of bounds. So the uh, drive is stalled, and the Huskies get the football back. This is a first and 20 play, a designed quarterback draw. Quarterback draw, Batista comes off the block, gets him by the ankle, and trips him up before Castle finishes it off. Second down and 11. Option pitch to Dino Bryant, their uh, fine sophomore punt returner. Picks up a nice game before Castle makes a tackle. Big third down play here. Third and two. Brunel hits Lewis in the flat, and he gets plenty of yards for the first down. Gain of 14. Sure does. Made it look easy, didn't they? First and 10. This is maybe the killer, I guess, as Brunel goes up top to Orlando McKay for the touchdown, 45 yards. Daryl Singleton in there replacing Muhammad Oliver, who's out with the injured knee. And he gets beat deep. Kick off to Burwell again. We get an excellent job of blocking in the wedge. Andy Sunia in there this time. Uh, Dan Mitchell's got a ding, and we get a great return again. Uh, you can see Burwell take it up the field here. Good blocking. Uh, Ferry and Spear. And Stumbled a little bit, tried to make a move on, on, a quarterback. on, on the quarterback, Holbert, who was uh, the kickoff man. So, the Ducks need points in a hurry. Trailing by a score of 31 to 10. And Joe Reitzik makes a wonderful catch as he picks up 48 yards on a first down. This is on the sprint out. Again, we have time to throw this. Bill's got ability to step up and deliver the football without somebody in his face and it makes all the difference in the world. Lofts it up, Joe Reitzig makes a nice catch over his shoulder <coughs> for the big gain on first down. And then on second and goal from the nine yard line, Musgrave, the little draw to Burwell, virtually untouched into the end zone for the score and that is 
our offensive play of the day. Coach, tell us how it worked. Well, it's a trap draw we started running last week. It's a BYU play, only this situation, instead of pulling the guard, since they're in what we call a bear defense and have all three linemen covered here, we pulled big old David Collinsworth, and he comes around, and he has the option of kicking out here, uh, but uh, the man was occupied, so he turns it up and ends up getting uh, the safety. Kelamini comes out to occupy the linebacker, and Burwell, off the draw fake, takes it up the pipe for the touchdown. It looked easy, and it looked good. Touchdown. Let's look at it again. You can see Collinsworth pulling from the top of your screen. And there's a big hole in there, and Burwell takes it up for the touchdown nine-yard gain. Got us out of the negative rushing statistics as well. At that point, it was minus one, I believe. So there's still 8.50 left to go, and you're back to within 14 points. Figure we can kick off and play some defense and have an opportunity to, to come back and, and, and go. And here's a big play again on third down. They run the option on us, and they convert on first down on Burwell's speed and athletic ability. So it's first and 10 now. Burnell, I should say. <laughs> Lewis now breaks one. Uh, we've got some uh, backup people in the defensive line because we're starting to get a little beat up, and they're starting to wear on us with their big size, and they knock us off the ball and makes a nice cut back. And here they take it right up the gut. And they, actually, we knock each other off the tackle there. One hits from the right, one hits from the left. We stand him up, and we bounce off, and he keeps going. And that one uh, pretty much seals the fade and of course it will be eventually the final score although the Ducks have come right back it's Musgrave to Joe Reitzik again makes another tough catch over the middle great catch let's take a look at it again from down low and you'll see how difficult it is Musgrave again gets some protection and I'll tell you we give Bill time to throw he's always going to do something good uh, finds a nice uh, spot in the in the defense there and hits Reitzik right on the money good protection again Hit right seat on the sideline, steps out of bounds. Another first down. The drive stalls, third and 10. Over the middle. Vince Ferry, uh, we're playing him with a broken thumb. He's got a cast on, makes a nice catch here. Uh, gets over the seam. Watch this pass, though. Filtered to right over the uh, linebacker in front of the defensive backs. And Vince gets it into his good hand quickly <laughs> uh, and makes a nice catch. Very nice. First and 10 from the 28. And Bill is dumped by Rogers, a loss of six. Fourth and 12. Try to go for it here. Musgrave goes back to throw and overthrows Anthony Jones. So the final score, Washington 38 and the Ducks 17. Oregon now 0-2 in league play, 4-2 overall. Oregon Football 90, sponsored in part.